So, uh, for our audience members, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your business. All right. My name is Angie Sayless, and my business is Two Lavish Escapes. So, I do Airbnb, short term mm -hmm. rentals, corporate housing, and real estate. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for keeping us succinct. Yes. <laughs> um, so, tell us a little bit about how you got started. So I got started about a year and a half ago. Um, I've been looking on YouTube. I've been doing a lot of research. You know, I've been hearing this word Airbnb get thrown around. I've been staying in Airbnbs. And after my experience of staying in Airbnbs, I realized there were some things that the hosts were missing that would have made my experience with my friends a little bit better, you know? Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, doing thorough research, I decided this is something that I can do. Hospitality, customer service, that's a business that I've had over five years of experience in, and sales as well. So I just decided, you know, let me go ahead and tap into this and see what I could do with this real estate. <laughs> okay. So you've only been doing this for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. But even with that experience, can you give me a little bit of insight into what you think it takes to be successful in this line of work? Yes. So in Airbnb, it's a hospitality business. I think a lot of people try to get into it thinking it's a quick buck, but it's not about the money when it comes down to it, it's about the customer's experience. What are you showing this customer when they come into town that will be different from them staying at any other location? Now if you can give them the overall experience, which would be like a rental car, giving them actual guidebooks on where they can actually stay mm -hmm. and make them feel like a local, that mm -hmm. changes the game. It's more like bed and breakfast versus like the hotels. So I think that that part right there makes it a little bit different and it has like a common ground for your guests. Got you. And this kind of goes hands in hand with your line of work, but from your perspective so far, mm -hmm. how would you say your business has impacted the community? So far, I have been able to employ people, which is amazing. I never thought I would be in a line of work where I can actually give opportunities to other people. Um, that and also just giving experiences to people when they come into town. So there's neighborhoods that I went to school in, like Birmingham. I have two properties out there. I'm very fluent in Birmingham, Alabama. I went to Miles College. I know the, the regular grounds like a native. I've been mm. there for six plus years, right? Right. So I can share that experience with somebody just coming into town, even if it's from Atlanta. So it's just like a different experience that I'm able to shed light on with new guests coming from out of town. And um, have you had any um, up days, down days? Can you talk to me a, a little bit about some of your worst days and maybe yeah. some of your highest successes? For sure. So um, you're always going to have down days. So you have to plan for vacancies. So in this line of work, you're not going to have every single day booked out, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you also have to deal with like... Um, parties and you know guests getting a little you know outrageous when it comes to like their experiences in the business um, maybe they see a fly and they're like not satisfied you know you're not gonna <laughs> satisfy everybody right they want a full refund um, so those are just like some of the downfalls that you experience in the Airbnb business and some of the highs can you talk a little bit about that um, yeah some of the highs is definitely the overall experience of my customers um, you know getting those five-star reviews hitting super super host hat status that is a like just a dream for a lot of people when it comes to the Airbnb business and um, just being able to shed light on this business with other people that you're employing as well awesome so uh, here's 2022 uh -huh. where do you see your business in 2027 um, so I just started coaching as well so I expect in 2027 to actually help at least I'll give myself a goal of a thousand people I want to help a thousand people get an Airbnb business up and started all right mm -hmm. well that's it thank, thank you, you very much before you go give out your handle your social media information sure so you guys can follow me on um, TikTok where you'll get a lot of free gems from me at Queen of Automation and then you can follow me on Instagram say less Angie thank you all right. thank you thank you it's been a